Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Cup Heroes 1 replay. I spawn north side as the Veramark player. We have Chon, Iron, Chezeron, spawn as teammate as the other Veramark player. We have Tiger Stall. Spawn on the bottom, whoops. Some of the minimap goes crazy. Spawn on the bottom left side as the British forces. We have Upili, I think, how you pronounce it. And as his teammate as the other British forces, we have Zohan. I think I actually got that one right. I really cannot pronounce any sort of name. You need any construction? No, I can push the scout car, scout squad back on short range. We do now have multiple pioneers, course supply on the field. We've got just two pioneers, for, I should that say, for both. Right but this very much is a little here. bit slow. What's they going to have? They're thinking they'll have trouble versus scope rifle squads because. It can be very hard to deal with early on, since you start off with such a powerful squad, you, your pioneers will lack versus them. It's also the same thing I have. think I have there's issues with Company Rose 2. I don't like the fact that the uh, both the OKW and the British forces start off a very powerful squad, while the other uh, factions do not. That's why my mod I started out making it so that nobody starts out with any squads. Now we've got the friend carrier now deployed on the field, trying to eye for some aggression. This may be going to be upgraded MMG here. Let's just keep it selected for the time being. Okay, they're saying that the brick players are experienced, or at least good enough to win games against these guys beforehand. Pioneers receiving a bit of fire there. The friend carrier is moving around both grenades in this region now. Now do we've got a fresh Shimbog and on the field. Pioneer squad received quite a bit of fire. Scope Rifle squad advancing on forward. And now the Pioneer squad does fall back. Not a big surprise. Scope Rifle squad now getting the full screen ears. And this Shimbog is receiving hits, uh, being hit by multiple intersections. If you take a look at the British forces, I do not see either HQ. Oh, got this HQ actually packed on up. And this one's still back at home. In fact, if you notice here, they are actually in supply thanks to this little bridge through the minimap. Maybe better if I do it like this. This sectors are in supply thanks to the fact that this point, strategic point is captured. Pioneers are going to be trying to run away from the Brent carrier, trying to repair up the Shimwagen. Yes, the Brent carrier is mounted with an uh, intersection. Doesn't look like it's a scope rifle squad. I actually don't see the icon down there. The scope rifle squad, of course, is right here. Pioneers now engaging at close range against the scope rifles. And now do have the MG42 advancing on forward. Catherine in the garrison. I think he just used four designated marks there on that MG42. Very nice. One of the pioneer models do go down as well. These intersection advance forward. Scope rifle squad and regular intersection are behind the heavy cover there. Both grenades are seeing a bit of fire and they are not exactly well positioned. Intersection now engaging the MG42 at close range. MG42 is having trouble firing. There's the gun right there. So it is having trouble with the angle right there. It does fire a volley onto the uh, scope rifle squad. And now the friend carrier is going to hit there. This person is saying there's two friend carriers engaging him. Both of them deployed from the same player. So it's not a 2v1, just him getting a little bit having a bit of trouble versus his play style. And these folks are going to oof. These full screen need to fall back. There's nothing much they can do. They do also have Petra C1 there, which is very good. Now we've got the Pioneers trying to repair up the Shimwagen. This Sprint Carrier has a bit of abuse. This Sprint Carrier has a little bit wounded as well. Uh, these full screen squads need to fall back. That's just far, far too wounded to help out. If sections over here, a little, a little bit wounded as well. Full screen deers do get inside of here. The Lieutenant now on the field. Both players, I believe, have gotten out their Lieutenant. Yes, we do. HQ Command Truck has secured up this fuel. The other HQ Command Truck, I think, just got packed on up. Yep. This player is now against four. He went highly aggressive with the Bren Carriers. Must refresh. I'm not sure what he means by that. He's, oh, he's talking about reinforcing the Volkscreen Deers that I mentioned earlier. Pioneers do spot the HQ command truck and are engaging at close range. Grim Vagen says, nope, I'm out of there. And now the Brennan Carrier is reversing away, a little bit wounded. This one is still severely wounded. 
ask his team about what Doctor's going for. Plus he's calling an eye for terror. I would say Blitzkrieg wouldn't be half bad. I think Stu's kind of put some big holes in these infantry units. And again, Stu's always quite nice, regardless of what matchup you're fighting against. Whether it be US, Brits, other Wehrmacht players. And this is going I for defensive doctrine. Defensive propaganda, ready for the lead. down the infantry section. I suppose in this game you can't exactly go uh, mirror matchups and Tamir's Wood. I don't think it's actually possible. Tamir's 2 you can do mirror matchups. I don't think that may not, may not be possible in Tamir's Wood. It's a good hit there on the Bren Carrier. Lieutenant firing away against the Volks Grenadiers. And now we do got the infrastructure team quite a bit damaged right there. There is a landmine there that is a Wehrmacht landmine. It does get spotted by the Scope Arc Squad, but one day actually noticed that he actually saw it. Do not have the left hand advanced forward with the Scope Rifle Squad and Rifle Grenades. Rifle oh, no. Grenades are firing against those Volks Grenadiers. We'll find a good position there to engage the garrison. Scope Rifle Squad, uh, Rifle Grenade Squad does fire a shot there. And he can't hit the broad side of a barn. Literally. Defensive Doctrine, or, yeah, Defensive Doctrine for the Fatherland has been activated now. And it looks like the... Oh, so it's in the squad there. just right for the maid. And looks like both these squads are getting suppressed there by the MG42. It does force back the rifle grenade squad, and the other interest squad does fall back as well. This player may have some doctrine. It could have been Tarek, as he mentioned beforehand. He probably went for Zeal first. This work player may have second doctrine as well. There's only one command point at the moment. So it could be Royal Artillery based on the lack of visual indication, but we could check to see if he has any placements. Don't see any placements there to see if he has got boards on them for Royal Engineers. Also, we getting some great damage there in the Scope Rifle Squad. Need Pios or a Sniper Pios? Sorry, can't. Volkswagen Deer is now engaging, take, taking out that medic there. Got another Volkswagen Deer squad, but it's going to seem quite a bit fire. There's left hand support the horse. Rifle grenade does fire. Let's get a decent splash damage there. Knock around this horse. This Volkswagen Deer squad needs a full retreat. Yeah. Rifle grenades, if they hit, they're nasty. The other British player. I don't think it's like the doctor just yet. This Volkswagen Deer does full withdrawal. Infrastructure still advance forward. And these forces sort of just walking slowly forward, even though the left hand's here to support them. There's actually two rifle grenade squads. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. As much as we don't really see them all too often, they can be really deadly or really horrible. We've got Flame Pioneers trying to garrison the garrison there. They're a little bit stacked up there. Rifle grenades do roll miss there. He's going for a Bren upgrade. Ooh, does find that landmine, so that landmine does detonate. Trimbogen fires a volley there and does and not wipe out that squad. Does time. spot the landmine there. He's saying he's being 2v1. In fact, ugh. I say full retreat from this region. There's nothing much he can do against this. Major 4 2 needs a full withdrawal. He's trying to set him up. Trimbogen's going to try to knock them around. There's two lieutenants in the region. And none of them have a real charge available yet. If he gets suppression, maybe we'll get some good work there. But the Shinbogen will go down. The suppression on the Scope Rifle Squad does get flanked there. Yep. Flame Pioneer does fall. Man, skip on out there. Those with the MP42 to the boy designated marksman. Grandiers, Volks, Grandiers, Advanced Four. We've got the For the Fatherland activated. Bearmock Sniper now up on the field. Those fire shot there. Rolls a miss. All the squads are falling back. At least that player. Disparate squads are still in the front line. Both of the Scope Rifle Squads. Lieutenant is receiving a bit of fire. And does receive a sniper bullet. Trying to go for the bullet, doesn't make the marks in there. Does not get the shot off. And now we do got the medic pushing the way forward. The scope arc is supposed to see good of the damage there. You may want to fall back, get some healing. Yeah, the HQ command truck has been deployed on this munitions point as well. So the birds have deployed very far forward. Right now, I think uh, getting out some 234s would be probably would be the best to help deal with the infantry. There's not as many sappers on the field just yet, so 234 could be very useful. 
So to counter that, pulling out both displacement could be useful, but there is also now Stuart. Hendrick does roll a miss there. Out there on the Volk Grenadiers down south. Rifle right grenades and Scorpion Squad advancing forward. That's the interesting thing with the rifle right grenades there. Is that a really hit or miss? They do get some shots there. They do have. They can find the move, and that's a good shot there, and the Grenadier Squad does fall back. Unknown number of enemy are moving on one of our victory points. We got a medic casualty clearing stationed here. As well as the Pack 38. This medic does go down, that's one seeing quite a bit fire as well. Doesn't say bike meeting, he says blitz. So he's just going for blitz. Both the British players do have three command points. I don't know if they do or don't have a doctrine yet. Two snipers fire shot there. Does find this landmine, and that was a freshly placed one. This one has been detonated, may have been um, shot at and destroyed. Grenadiers maybe I for a grenade right there, and does force back both of the squads. However, uh, this Brit has pushed very, very far forward. Does spot the munitions cache there. Act 38 still so camouflage there. Does have stormtroopers available, but does not have the. Ooh! Do just yet. One puts there, does get a Panzer Faust off and a Panzer Shrek onto it. Let's see, we do have this player going for a artillery piece there, so likely he is the one who's gone for raw artillery. Multiple MG4 to this region. He's a pack 38, honestly. He does have a Kriegsberg. No pack 38. You could go for double uh, Panstruck Stormtroopers and get ambushers off. Assault force loss. They need deployment location. But now Stu's available. He needs this more manpower. He's 300 My Little Ponies. Now we've got the Grenadier squad behind some heavy cover there, but we're seeing a lot of rifle grenade fire. He's able to hold the line for a bit of time. We're also getting a lot of free casualties there. Medic does pick up another casualty there. And if he gets uh, that casualty there, that will give him a free grenadier. Sniper now providing some good fire support. Medic does get taken out. This medic still at full health. Let's get picked on up. Gains some good corner reinforcements. Medic can now see massive amounts of damage there. He does get a free grenadier there, and he desperately didn't need that to help turn this fight. Sorry, I hit my microphone again. I keep on doing that. Over here, do we have the M42 firing against the scope rifle squad? Got the scope. Oh, wait. How did that scope rifle squad not spot the landmine? Huh. Both Grandiers pushing way forward. Good damage down this infantry section. And, oh, so, okay, they say it's a stag hound, so there's multiple stag hounds on the field. These Grandiers could be upgraded to Panda Strike, so they may not really have a mission score at the moment. Yeah, far from it. Now we're seeing quite a bit of damage there. Grenadiers, this Grenadier squad needs to fall back. He needs to pack 30. He is pushing forward. Grenadier does fall back in time. Forward, supply lines up open. You have no planks there, so I do think it's gone for raw artillery. Pack 38 rolls a miss by going through the stag hound. Rolls another miss there. Rolls another miss there. Now these Grenadiers are running, get suppressed there. And looks like this one was overhealed. He does have repair uh, sappers. Wants to need a fall back to get press pin. So does this one as well. Maybe trying to spot for his pack 38. Oh, here, do you guys do here? Firing weight, there's two. Uh, one MMG carrier. No, that's a lieutenant in the back of that one, not an MMG carrier. Leave a good hit there. One command point, and now it's going, then he's going to pull out a uh, flak 88. Vehicle is now button there. That was having to worry about this uh, sapper. That's going to go kill the uh, Stu. Sniper is start hitting that Piet squad. That, well, that poses the only threat to the uh, Stu at the moment. And for two and both Grenadiers and Grenadiers engaged with these other forces. Uh, snipers need to stop hitting that Scorpion squad and focus down that Piet squad. 
Staghounds now advancing very far forward. No landmines right here. Yeah, you know, That's not an Antrix. Antrix does want to miss there. Pack 38 needs to rotate around. Grandier is getting suppressed. To the grateful fatherland and glorious struggle. And now we've got that three infantry. That should help out. Back out, still advancing on forward. Grandier's, Bolt's Grandier's seem to fire there. Pack 38 rolls, another miss there. A lot of intersections here, ready to base support once the bunker goes down, but the other force is hitting the Creek's Barrack and he does have to the defensive, so you got the defensive move mouse rolls, and the infantry won't be able to advance that region. Friend carrier, or oh, that's just a friend gun, gains some damage down the pioneers. We'll receive a couple more sniper shots there. Base is under enemy fire. 25 pounders trying to hit this pack 38. Right for Nature Orson misses there. And pack 30 has been pulled out right there. Which is far away from the stag hounds in this base. But the stag hounds don't really pose a massive threat to the building, just stopping the infantry from advancing on out. Let's get a hit there. Game removed the overheal. We do now have the other Panstrix squad to pull out on the field. We'll see the damage there. And maybe it's safe now to bring back this pack for hit these stag helps with that black 80 in the region. These folks are or regular grenadiers do get suppressed. Mine's gonna hit there. The one the uh grenadier squad does get through the pin. These guys are starting to advance the flank. One casualty's been recovered so far. Stoke advancing on or shoots pain support, does receive a center pounder shot there. And we do not see planks in the side, so he's not gone for royal uh, armor. He has gone for commandos. We've got commandos and an unknown doctrine. He may actually not have some doctrine just yet. Let's get some suppression there onto this scope rifle squad. Up north, we've got the Stu, civilian wounded. That is a actual pioneer, not a repair pioneer. Repair bunker pioneers. We're losing a strategic location. He has a lot of force on the field, and he's now including a firefly, which is slightly wounded. Black Eight does can provide some fire support, but they do have access to 25 pounders, and they don't need supercharged rounds to reach right there. Stormtroopers now firing away, very very nice. No veterans in the stormtroopers, however. And for two, trying to get some damage there onto the Brent squad. Antrax fire another shot there, does hit the casualty clearing station. Does throw a grenade right there, rolls and falls back. They're going after one of our munition stores. Grenade is pushing my forward, we got the scope arc squad and right for nades, a base of forward. Right for nades, large, land short, some do splash down the grenadiers, grenadiers against the forward. They are behind heavy cover, that help reduce the suppression. Grenades are thrown, does get some shots there. The Vikany may be in range of this force. He may need to mainly target it, however. Grenade, Grenadiers may have fall back entirely. It does lose that uh, stag hound there. That may have been from the Black 88. That's three vehicle, two vehicle kills there. A mono glider does get destroyed off as well. This force is starting to dance forward. That should be rotating over here to get some great hits. Black 88 did a good, did a good, good hit there as well. There is an MG bump in this region, so you don't have to worry about the Black 88 being captured up by their opponents, likely. Ooh, Black 88 seeing some good hits there. More of these supposed to advance forward. Stu's trying to rotate around. 25 pounder neutrals this garrison. It's there under the rear arm of the Stu. And now the Flak 88 does get the crew up there. Graphic grenade squad, maybe I'm gonna capture up the Flak 88, but there's a lot of forces in this region. We won't be able to capture up all too well. Flak 88 may receive a penetrant shot there. It does get recruited by the uh, defensive doctrine player there, but directed there by officer artillery, I believe. And he has to uh, use up some of his command points there, so he has to leave his gun for officer artillery. Ooh, a lot of damage coming across the line. 
two still alive. We're seeing more pee of fire. This one seems falling back. It's ooh. oh no, that wasn't wipe out. It was just briefly not seen. Followed by all the uh, dirt flying in the very air. Pack 38 does get spotted there by the Commando Squad. And you guys got the Scope Squad engaging the MG42. Commando's almost got wiped out right there. Does throw a grenade there. Getting some good damage on the Pack 38. And you got a captain and his rifle grenades in the center. And now got the Pentrex advance forward. It looks like multiple Grenadier models may have been crushed there. He may have lost an entire squad. I see, both these are four man squads, but I think he crushed an entire Grenadier right there. Having trouble getting some good hits there. Trying to see if there's any corpses there, but I didn't see any. Oh, but that was a crush there. I do believe there was a lot of crushed models there. Black is severely wounded. A Volkswagen is advancing on forward, trying to go for another casualty cleaning station. Victory point is being overrun. Put it there by the on the Volksgrenadiers. I wonder. Hmm. Natural. Artillery barrage could have been from a 25 pounder barrage from his teammate. So it could have. So I actually don't know what. Oops, wrong button there. I actually don't know what doctrine the British, this British player has selected just yet. There's no boards there. Nope, Not that's ready. the same player. You know, I actually don't know what doctrine has gone for. It could have gone for the Royal, Royal Engineers. Have been passed down the line. Are you able to cover kill zones? Uh, nope, that was Overwatch Artillery Barrage. So he has gone for Royal Artillery. My bad. I was thinking that Artillery Barrage beforehand could have been for 25 pounder barrage from the Commandos, which still could have been the case. You are losing a strategic sector. It has been captured up right there. Grenadiers are trying to fall back in this region. Got this Grenadier squad as well. Three OP. A lot of grenades raining on in. Black and eight. It's another kill there. Up the four extra kills this recruit squad. Stu, however, needs to have a stop as rear armor exposed to this Piet. And does get a Piet there on the Black Eight, but it's not sure off in time. This repair squad does get enough repairs. Next war, got another four of the Fatherland activated. Now it's content to throw some stick grenades from these Grenadiers. And the Black 8 does get the crew there. Pack 38 will like to get the crew as well. Target has been knocked out. Right now, how congested the British forces are, I think no workers of working wouldn't be a half bad idea. Probably war from in since the Nebel is pretty easily counter barraged. He had advancing forward, fires a shot there, and does destroy the Flak 88. Tiger Tank is a good item. He's Fetcher C on both. I guess that Fetcher C won now. But still needs more Vetra C. Vetra C 1 on Stormtrooper is very nice. Vetra C 2 on support weapon. He's gone for a triple sniper. Which either can be really good or one or two shot. Kills them all. Pro charge has been activated now. Black Idiot has not been rebuilt. There or it is being rebuilt, I should say. And do have the bunker has recently supplied out three grenadier. It's a decent hit there with the Shu. Still needs a lot of repairs, however. Let's cancel the Flak 88 now. Let's fall back now. And now I do have a Ops Artillery Barrage now ringing on in. Wait, that's all bouncing. Wait, what? What type of artillery barrage was that? Was that registered artillery? We just got the green light to employ creeping barrage. That was registered artillery. Apparently, registered artillery does bounce off the armor of a bunker. Huh. I did not know that. The Minos do fully get wiped out there. Grenadiers engaging the uh, scope of squad at close range. You have these 
left-handed advanced sword with the scope with the rifle grenades, got some sporadic fire. Stack Hound is still alive, providing some fire support there, but does receive a Black 88 hit, I believe. Yep, looks like a fresh Black 88 right here. Better to see one as well. Over on the left flank, we do have the Firefly various forces from both players here. And I've got the Volkswagen has picked up for themselves a Pia. I think the Firefly moved to this region to help engage this Tiger tank. Big of Hansa gets an excellent shot there on the intersection. Got these British forces advancing on the floor. Rifle grenades raining on in. Some good damage there. Whoops, I actually put the mini map. And he does spot the snipers. Does just get a good hit there, but does gun down on the snipers. Rolls a miss there on that army. Who has been finally been repaired on up. Bunker now receiving a bit of damage. Does it scare some dozens of shots there for the Flak 88? Of course, it can only absorb one more shot there. Direct hit there, but can be reinforced in the front line. It's an advancing forward. I think the Flak 88 got the crew. Nope. Whoa. There's a. F Wait, what? Why is there a Flak 88 back in the space? Sniper firing some shots there on the intersection. This sniper has quite a bit of damage there. Another sniper pushing the forward. Some good hits on there. Two firing away against these intersections. Good hit there. Firefly skirmish round. Stormtroopers have entered four. You can put rush forward with a grenade, honestly. He really wants us to want to get uh, overrun by those uh, stag hounds, probably. We've got the Grenadier and Volkswagen in this region. Great hits there. And it's a defensive player, so he's not the Blitzkrieg player to throw out stun grenades, because I think like stun grenades would be really good against this group here. Or more stews, that also works. I guess he... If you say he's pretty good, I don't know many of the players all too well. Maybe it was just really annoying with those stag hounds being there, locking him in the space. He really wants to make sure no, he doesn't get hit, hit by that again. Got this Black 88 being repaired. Got the Tiger Tank advanced support. They have better CQ on the Tiger Tank. Two firing away, gets a decent hit there. So the Tiger Tank has a bit of use. These forces are falling on back. We do have. Back there, he does get the crew there. Should see a bit of fire as well. Need some repairs. We got the intersections falling back over this region. This intersection is does is, is fully pinned by this MG42. We got an MG42 bunker research right now. Does manage to recover from suppression there and does get fully wiped out. Try fires and decrease that's uh pack 38. And G42 in place is almost complete. That's gonna get a good shot there. Sector. Over here, we do we got the intersection capture the point? You hear more artillery raining on it. Does decrease the flak gate equals get and does take up the bunker as well. I have your rocket batteries asking for a target. Mason and the rockets are gonna be a good idea. The stormtroopers, or if you can plow out stormtroopers good spot for him. He perhaps also Wow, his own sniper to camouflage forward and call it in. Oh, there's a glider. The glider says hello. Wait, and the glider got destroyed. No Kamado spawned out of there. So he completely wiped out the glider before the Kamados can be spawned on out. Oh, well, that's a big investment down. Grenadiers and Volks Grenadiers trying to hold the line from these forces. Does he have a rifle grenade there? Volks Grenadiers are quite wounded, but they're still alive for the Father Line has been activated. Grenadier squad may need to fall back sooner rather than later. And they do get fully wiped out. He made snipers start pushing forward to get some good damage here. And it looks like I have more casualties being recovered as well. 
Three Vermox snipers push way forward, trying to get some good damage on in. Targeting those fire shot there. Measures the team currently. And now use her work charge to roll overrun these snipers. A lot of these sniper uh if sections only have one guy that doesn't have a rifle grenade. Does fully control from region all sorts of them ring on in, does get a good hit there on the grenadiers. And the flak idiot has been recruited. Did he just use the entire use the entire squad for that? Yep, he had a both gun deer, now he doesn't. Grenadiers are seeing quite a bit of fire now. And the Volkswagen India squad does fall back. Stu is now advancing on Fort with a Tiga Ponser in tow. Staghounds advancing forward as well. Flak 88 does get destroyed. A good pass focus on the pack 38. Got some more. Got the shoe. Getting some good shots there. Does suppress this intersection. Right now, the BPs are very similar. Only a 30 point different, roughly. Pack 38 has been recruited by the infantry sections. So does get deadly hit there by the Tiga Panzer. And does get the crew there. Needs a full withdrawal from these snipers. They do full withdrawal in time. Oh, was that a decoy barrage? It was a decoy barrage. Ooh, very nice. Pack 30 has been re secured by the Tommies. And Pioneer's charging forward. Let's get some good damage there. Does roll a bounce on the Tiger Tank, however. Pioneer's should be able to decode this Pack 30, no problem. The support of the Hell Fireflies getting some good hits onto it. Pack 30 has been decrewed. He could perhaps sacrifice this Pioneer squad to capture it up to fire, provide some fire support against these Fireflies. I can think we're seeing a bit too much damage now. We've got this intersection here. Grenier is not in second good position. I can think now being pursued. We now have a fresh Flak 88 deployed out on the field right here. And it should be able to rotate its gun in this region now. The Fireflies are pushing too far forward. Flak 88 connects. Damage and crit there. Got repairs from a nearby repair bunker. And that Firefly does go to control. Next one's gear seeing some hits there. Tiger Tank's almost down. Great hit there. Tiger Tank fires. Main gun destroyed crit, and the Tiger Tank is saved for now. Black Idiot came at the exact right time, picking up both those uh, Fireflies. Section's advancing on forward. Now we've got the uh, Fully Fall Blend activated. Tiger Ponds are not receiving retro fire. It's the Black 88. Sniper's now hitting. Against these forces as well. Now I've got a rifle grenade being fired very far forward. Got this force against board. We've got a first squad of Pete Sappers. And right now, this if Grenier squad will need to fall back sooner rather than later. Actually, the ring on in this region as well. Stu's advancing forward, and the Grenier is actually not falling back. Snipers advancing on forward. We do have a nasty four snipers on the field. I'm not a big fan of sniper spam. So, I, in a couple years too, I, I just don't like the concept of one man sniper. I like the Jaeger concept, like the Jaeger light between the Pathfinders, the crit shots. Grandier does manage to get inside the garrison. Still can be gunned down. Does get reinforcements there. Gets inside the bunker now. Does connect right there. Staghounds are seeing too much of fire there. Flackity has been recruited. Fire strike hit there. Very good. Two Staghounds trying to back out of the region. Now we've got Blitz. We got a bit. Tiger Tank is that fully, fully repaired. Now we do have the uh, decoy barrage raining on in. But it's there. Tiger Tank's up to 27 kills. And there's a Stormtrooper's got a right hit there on his, on his uh, uh, teammate's bunker. Friend squad advance of force, Stu firing away, gets good hits on these Ptolemies, forcing them back. Now Flak 8 has been recruited. Bunker does go down now, Stormtroopers did not receive a lot of damage. Staghounds getting repaired on up, got a lot of forces here as well, got two repair sappers, not bad. Gas sappers just provide a lot of extra durability, especially for those light vehicles. It looks like these all over here as well, probably due to the fact that his teammate gets 
did, uh, did that. But the Royal Glider HQ to get out some Piet Commandos, which I believe do have the camouflage stealth ability. I don't know if it's a fully mobile camouflage ability or is a mobile camouflage. I honestly have no idea because I've actually never seen this thing deployed out in a multiplayer game. You rarely ever see a tech mark either. Actually, they just come far, far too late. Intersection received a bit of fire there. Multiple snipers just picking up this Brit. You may need to pack on up and get out of there with how many snipers are being hit by. Now I've got Vet 3 Tiger tanks, as well as other Vet 3 tanks. We only saw Vet 2 light vehicles. Oh, there's Preska Commando Glider trying to jump on top of the Stormtroopers. Were they fire in time? They did not take up the glider in time. There's an M42 dead fire on Folly there. Do a firing shot there as well. Commandos got some fitness on the Stormtroopers. Turn over on the snipers. Sniper. One commando model. Oh crap. Apparently one commando is more than plenty to take out some snipers, but does only take out one of the snipers, right? He sells three alive, so we only took out one of the snipers. Intersection advancing forward. On left side, we got the pioneers from being overrun. We got the Shtu now trying to charge them forward, trying to crush some of these forces. But it's there. Rock grenades are raining on him. Gives the game to him and the ears. I do have some artillery raining on him, getting some good hits out of the Black 88. Fair amount of sniper quite on the field. This force is making soft trade away. Grenadier squad getting hit by the stag hound. Pink and Ponce are advancing forward. We're seeing some firefly power. Two fireflies in the region. And looks like the left hand may go down to the snipers if you really pursue it. Intersection, friend squad. We're seeing multiple sniper fires. On the right side, got more rifle grenades just raining on in. See a lot of medics pushing my forward. I don't know if they're all from the same player, technically. You got the slit trench now being employed on field, trying to have a good defensive line. They're trying to just dig in. Right now, these snipers just ripping them apart mostly. The Tika Ponzer does get 31 kills as well. Sniper, this sniper has 36 kills. 21, 15, and of course it's a fresh zero. From zero to hero, perhaps. Grenade, grenade has been thrown, does abandon the trench for a time being. Does manage to get back to the trench in time, however. You now have a 70 pounder being pulled on out the front line. Snipers do spot this. They could pass fire a good volley into the sappers. They Still pretty far from construction. There is also a bear mark. Oh no. Oh no. These snipers are going to find that landmine, aren't they? Red squad does get spotted. Or does spot little snipers. The snipers get some great hits there. Oh, we got a uh, hair burst to be called on in, and the snipers do not find the landmine. I do not know why. I always find get a replay where a sniper gets blown up by a landmine. It happens way too often to be coincidence. I don't know why. Does anybody else have that issue where they see snipers, they lose a sniper or kill a sniper with landmines all the time? It happens all the time in these replays. Like seriously, like one out of four replays hasn't happened. And I'm not joking about that. Eh, that's probably a little bit too high. It's just uh, memorable. But that landmine does get blown up by a splash damage there. That uh, trench does get scuttled. He's going to try to get inside this trench now. Staghound's trying to stop them. Does get inside this trench with one. And make it inside the other one. 
you will have died. Okay, they do get inside the uh, slip trench now. One of the stack hounds do go down. Okay, did not get the other grenadier, so trying to crawl on in there. This, uh, both of them are now inside. The sending pounder received quite a bit of damage. The flak idiot could come to pick it up. Got five models of grenadiers inside this garrison. That would be a great spot for them. They've got the four healing here. AT gun does roll a hit or balance down that firefly. Sending pounder does get the crude. Tinker pounds are trying to get some good hits there. Does get another good hit. Grenadiers is still in a great position there. It's going to be hard to displace them. Right grenades are good job at doing that though. Stormtroopers of Fans 4, they do have two Panda Shreks. No, just the one Panda Shrek. Grenadiers in that region, so plenty of health. Take your of Fans 4. Answer around on the Stormtroopers, forcing them back. Then the counter is engaged over here. Just don't ignore this reticle. This is me switching players while I had that selected. It's a bug in the replay system. More cash have been recovered now. So maybe we'll get to a free intersection squad soon. Does lose one. This uh, vehicle. I believe that's a steward. He does. Let's go ahead and take out one of the grenades inside the slit trench. Let's go and suicide them for the time being. Boy, we're third Flak Gideon now on the field. He does nowhere near has enough munitions. Oh, there's the other grenadier as well. He nowhere near has enough munitions for a rocket to run and doesn't have enough munitions to do anything else either. Defense player it has big holes in his lineup. His teammate does have manpower blitz, so he can help replenish those holes. But right now he's at pop cap, so he can't exactly pull out any larger force than he already has. But he perhaps could be a bit more suicidal to put holes in their opponent. But I suppose the snipers are pretty good at that right now. Another commander glider has been blown a few, asking his teammate to go for VPs. Commando Glider does go down, but Commando so I'll push him way forward. Pioneers have made it fall back from this region. Tiger Panzer is very wounded. That's something that the Vermont, this Vermont player could do. He has to blast some repair bunkers for the well, primary himself. Pioneer does fall back now. Go rifle or rifle grenade squad trying to engage the bunker. Fuck it. Don't get any kills there. Our tanks at 37 kills and also a pop cap. Annihilates that model. There's still one PS squad there, which could be wiped out. Thanks to followers to take these snipers. So he went for a demolition charge there, but I don't think he actually got that off. The mount squad still followed back. He gets another kill on retreat. That counts against the board. Grenade ha Grenadier squad has been forcing back. And the MG bunker has been upgraded. It's a good hits there onto the pioneers, wipe them out. He needs to use the restroom. Though, to be honest, he doesn't have a whole lot on the field to a micro at the moment. And take a quick restroom break, could give him enough manpower to make it a bit more flexible. He does not have anything to the micro. <laughs> yeah. As much as you really should try to avoid doing it, but of course when you gotta go, you gotta go. Just that, that's the one few time where it's, it is actually reasonable. You have a dropped Piet right there. More artillery running on in this sector. Squad of sappers. Let's take a look at everybody's resources since it's sort of gotten a little bit quiet in the map or match. This person relatively has the priests available. We have a lot of assets on the field for him. A lot of manpower at Prince Pop Cap. A lot of munitions. A lot of fuel. So this player is pretty topped off. That's a very British term on supply and resources. The commander player is a little bit low munitions. Has been the reserve of manpower. Plenty of fuel for us in the game. Doesn't even have the armor command truck. And does have a 25 pounder, but not a whole lot of assets out of the field. They go for the uh, Commando HQ glider to deploy some assets there. Who wouldn't deploy out a late game 30 cal machine gun? Or a late game 60 millimeter mortar? And the PF commandos are perhaps decent. They're a little bit cheaper and a lot 
less uh, munitions heavy than, say, uh, Sapper Fiat's. The defensive player does not have a lot of force on the field, as we mentioned beforehand. Has two Grenadiers, three Black KD-8s, a bit of manpower, a bit of munitions, a bit of fuel, but nothing too significant. Also, falling back, we got five snipers, you bastard. That is cruel. Both these Grenadiers are currently suppressed and are fully pinned. Yep, and the, uh... Looks pretty clear it has plenty of manpower, enough conditions for, for enough manpower blitz. So you may just keep that manpower up with going ready for a blitz break. And has an asshole -ish amount of snipers. I think that's a decoy barrage there. I think can advance on forward. Commando squad, there's six models there, and it's gonna need every single one of them to keep that squad alive. No, that commando squad's gonna get wiped out, isn't it? Uh, did lose one of the snipers there. The Tiger Tank also does get a good hit there, so the Mother Squad also got wiped out. Red Squad could be next. The Lieutenant could be next. Lieutenant was next. The Grateful Fatherland and Glorious Struggle. We got the Flak 88, who seems to go back for Squad Fire. He's pretty close to getting out another Grenadier from this bunker. Got the half track advance accord. I think he's going for war from the half tracks. Uh, no upgrade on it. So it's going for reinforcement half tracks. Grenadier advance on four, trying to capture some sectors. School breakfast squad has all five members. There's some members over here. Does receive a hit by this back black 88. And start to capture this uh, cutoff sector. This Grenadier Squad does get forced on the back. Over here, we got the snipers being forced on the back. Our forward supply line. He only has two snipers remaining now. Now, this is the more acceptable number of snipers. I think in most tournaments, they tend to limit the number of snipers you have out on the field per time to two. Just wipe out that. Nope, that squad's not wiped out at the moment. So the commando player and the defensive player both have lost quite a bit of assets. The Blitzkrieg player and the Aurora Artillery player both have a significant number of assets on the field. A lot of fire going to be coming onto that uh, Flak 88 now. We've got Stormtroopers in the mix coming up to the second uh, hand track. They're losing territory. He could, I say, yeah, throwing out a grenade right now. No, he does cancel the grenade. Over here, we've got the intersections advancing on forward as well. Giga Panzer should be able to get some good hits on in. Trying to hit the PF squad first. And Sniper's getting some good hits here as well. So I'm just now up and upgrade their second Panzer Shrek. And soon they have enough munitions for another manpower push. You could just start storing manpower. Sniper is the enemy. The enemy advances. Soldier trying to eye the decap at this point now. The Axe do not have a lot of BPs at the moment. But it's there on the couch to clean the station. And the bunk and Vickers are placing some hits as well. Actually, clearing section may go down next shot. Needs one more casualty to get our uh, free squad. And the Grenadiers should be able to spot it now. Let's take it out. Grenadiers trying to decap to that point. This one has been decapped as well, so the Brits are doing a good they job in double the captures. The Didn't sound the Grenadier. The defensive player should just start eyeing to save up for a 28 centimeter rocket barrage. Wait, a flame half track? I was not expecting that. Do not have a flame half track deployed on the field. I don't think I've seen that ever deployed in one of my replays. We've got another relatively rare sight there. Stormtrooper's getting some great damage there on the 17 pounder. Tika Pons received some good hits there, getting stuck by a Tetrarch Glider? Or was that a Commando Glider? No, that was not a Tetrarch Glider. Tetrarch Glider is even larger than that. Commando Squad received quite a bit of fire there. Now the Commando's receiving a lot of fire. Literal fire. It does pick up a Panzerstrike, and that's something you don't want to have Commandos to have. And 
Only for Warfman half track upgrade. I wonder if this uh, flame half track was a mistake and he was trying to go for Warfman. But going for indirect fire like that would be a good idea to help deal with these large or just blob forces, especially this uh, player tends to blob force forces. Gotta stay in the bunker. Walking Stuka upgrade has played the Warfman upgrade. Deacon Panzer getting repaired up by Repair Sapper. Two snipers have faced him. That's just one sniper. That's another Repair Sapper or Pioneer, I should say. This one here may need his medical supplies. And does lose a couple miles there. Does have these four reinforcements at least. Hanging soft troop with him. Got now all sorts of artillery now raining on in. This is for the Flak 88. Both the Grenadiers received quite a bit of damage. And one Grenadier squad just get fully wiped on out. Medic bunkers having trouble collecting a third or fourth casualty. Grand squads have made support. There's no officer here to support them. Snipers made to get all the snipers. Or not snipers, uh, officers. There's a landmine training being built there. I don't think it's fully built. It's not fully built. You got these horse advanced for trying to get against these grenadiers. The Axis players are still having trouble with the BP game. Technic does get some good shots there. Play Patrick trying to be pursued. A little bit wounded. Oop, and now they've captured the Slack 88. Which can take out all this infrastructure. Workman Barrage raining on in. Getting some good damage there on some of those models there. The pots. The sniper could actually quickly rectify that. Extra uh, commando gets a good hit there and does take out the uh, flame half track there with the rifle grenades. Black A still crewed on up, does take out that warp from half track now. Bearmark sniper trying to decrew the Black 88. And this will be the fourth casualty for that green grenadier. Does get it decrewed now. Stormfrogers could perhaps claim it. They haven't been too much problem with the artillery right now. Oh, it looks like he's drunk. Oh, sorry, just all your messages there. By the flag. The first spritz didn't have a choice. Have a choice. Contrast to see a bit of fire that does throw a grenade, largely rolled a miss. And the side counts have broken through, trying to engage these grenadiers. Grenadiers do re recapture the flat 88. And now we do have the Fire Tank gained some good hits on the stag hounds, they were overhealed. Firefly in the region. And looks like uh, the replay is now over. Looks like the X players have backed up the game now. This is Andrew Green saying, thank you for watching and on to the next replay.